So this is a SUVAT equations question taken from the 2018 AS uh, applied paper. It's actually one of two SUVAT equations on this particular paper, whereas the other papers tend to have uh, just the one. So lots of words. Um, typically, you're expected to you know, organize the information and decipher what's going on. So a man throws a tennis ball into the air so that at the instant when the ball leaves his hand, the ball is two meters above the ground and is moving vertically upwards with speed nine meters per second. The motion of the ball is modeled as that of a particle moving freely under gravity and the acceleration due to gravity is modeled as being of constant magnitude 10 meters per second squared. The ball hits the ground T seconds after leaving the man's hand. Using the model, find the value of T. So not too much to do in this question, although there's a lot of words, um, but it is worth four marks. So we do want to try and get all of those marks. And the reason I know that this is a SUVA equations question is because I'm told that um, acceleration due to gravity is modeled as being of constant magnitude, 10 meters per second. So if you're given a question where you're told that acceleration is constant, then you're, you can use SUVA equations to tackle it. So I know that it's SUVA equations, so I'm going to write down the SUVA equations that I know. So um, S equals U plus V over 2 times by T. Hopefully you guys are familiar with all of these letters. So S being displacement, U being initial velocity, V being final velocity, um, A being acceleration and T being time. Um, this one here, this third one, we don't see all that often, but it's good to know. And it looks just like the one above, very similar to the one above with a couple of differences. So might as well write it down. Uh, we've also got um, the SUVA equations that have uh, V at the beginning. This is how I remember them. That was a squared. So I just write all those down and I'm going to pick which one that I want in a minute. But I'm also going to um, sort of do a, a picture that that um, summarizes this information. So I've got my man. You know, he's just throwing a ball. The ball starts two meters above the ground. And then it goes up in the air to a certain point and then it comes back down. But it goes a further two meters in order to reach the floor again. So what do we know? I know that my um, displacement is two. That is because even though it has gone up and come back down, um, the overall displacement from start to finish is a total of two meters. Now what else is quite important here is that you choose a positive direction. I'm actually going to choose um, downwards as my positive direction. That makes gravity positive. And it doesn't actually matter as long as you're consistent. But what else have I got? I've got my S. I've got my initial velocity, which I'm told at the beginning is um, 9 meters per second in the upwards direction. That makes my initial velocity value of U minus 9. Um, final velocity. Now, there's a lot of confusion um, typically with these questions when you have a final velocity which is commonly mistaken to be zero because the ball has stopped. However, the final velocity would not have been zero if it had not been met with an obstruction, so the floor in this case. So we don't know what V is. And we do know the acceleration is due, due to gravity. So that is um, 10 in this question. And we're taking that to be in the positive direction, so G is 10. Typically, you see there we have acceleration with um, double arrows, and capital T is actually what we're after. So looking at these, I've got S, I've got U, I've got A, and I want T, and uh, I'm gonna rule out V at this stage. Uh, we don't need it, we don't want it. So. S is 2, U is minus 9, A is 10, and T is the unknown. So we go for this equation. It's got the S, the U, the T, and the A, 
And what we'll have to do is rearrange this with all the information that we know put in for the unknown value that we want, which is t. So s is ut plus a half a t squared, but with our values, 2 is equal to minus 9 times t plus a half times 10 times t squared. And you should at this stage recognize this as a quadratic in t. Half times 10 times t squared is 5t squared minus 9t. And I'm going to bring the 2 over so that I have my quadratic being equal to 0. That's how we solve quadratics. And this one we can factorize. And so I've got t and 5t. Um, and I need to make minus 2 on the end, so I'm going to multiply my 5t by the minus 2 to get minus 10t, but then I'm adding the 1t back on to make it minus 9. And then my two solutions for this are t equals minus a fifth, which we rule out because that is a negative time, or t equals 2. So it takes the ball 2 seconds to go up in the air, starting two metres above the ground with an initial velocity of nine metres per second, reaches a maximum height, comes back down, hits the floor after two seconds. And that finishes the question. So um, there's another SUVAT equations question on this paper. So check out more videos at studyworld.com.